Now when you know the principles, I will create a whole drum track for a typical song. First create a typical 8 bar sequence. Duplicate it a few times. Add intro to the beginning. And outro to the end. Cubase has a nice feature called Par Transposition. You simply select a bar and modify its transposition which virtually moves all notes downwards or upwards. Our parts are made entirely from C notes, therefore they all have minimal level. This part will be a verse, so let's move it upwards a little bit. This part will be a chorus, so let's move it upwards more. Verse Chorus Since each octave has 12 semitones, we can transpose each part maximally by 11. Let this last chorus be as loud as possible. By this transposition we moved all C notes, to H notes. And that's it. All of this transposition stuff can be made by moving the notes upwards, but this is much easier. Let's listen to the result. Starts with a silent intro. Silent verse. Loud chorus. Medium verse. Very loud chorus. And finish. The great thing is, that now it is extremely easy to modify the track. For example, let's add one more verse chorus sequence. or move the entire song a little bit to the right. Or let's make the first chorus half as long. And if you want to change the rhythm, no problem. And another one. With all of this it takes no more than one minute to create the whole drum track, and then you can just play with the rhythm. Now, let's say, that our song is finished, mixed, and you want to generate a mix down. The problem is, that M drummer still chooses random loops. 
This means that every time the song is played, M drummer chooses different breaks and long breaks and other loops. You will probably want to select particular ones for each moment to make your song perfect. First, you have to disable random loops like this. Now you have to choose loop for each break and so on. There is a way to do so using automation, but we do not want to use automation unless necessary, since it is not effective, clumsy, and not always supported. Since we are relying on MIDI data, and each command is defined by a single note, we obviously decided to use a parameter of the note, and the only one, that is always supported, is velocity. Now look at the intro. It can sound like this. Or like this. Or like this. Let's choose this one. Now let's do the same with the first break. And the next break. After you select all loops, the drum track is finished. M drummer will always play the same, and you are ready to export the audio. Although this process is not as straightforward, as for example MIDI drag and drop, once you learn it, you will never want to do it different way. At least, until we invent something even better.